Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I have just purchased two outdoor cases for my Wise Pan Cams and I thought we would unbox them together today as well as install them in one of my pan cams. So first thing we have, you'll see my setup here. That's my microphone. I have my one of my pan cams here and this is one of the items. I purchased this off of Amazon. You can see it is the white wise cam pan mount it is made in china all the information below on this particular case will be below like i said in the description how you can purchase this on amazon just want to get right into this i purchased two of these uh, interestingly enough when i did the math these were either offered sold singly or offered sold in a box of two, but when I did the math, it was cheaper to buy two singly than it was to buy a box of two. So go figure. Okay, so as you can see, this is a kind of a squishy, soft plastic mount. Uh, and here is the mount where the cam pan will attach onto a building or a fence. Um, let's take a look real quick. So we have some mounting hardware provided, drywall anchors, or just some screws. This is the mount that the cam pan will attach to. Looks like it swivels pretty easy. This looks very similar to what actually uh, comes with other mounts. So it's going to have a nice swivel feature so I can set it up however I want. Um, this feels like metal. And it's looking like metal. So this is a metal attachment here. Sprayed white. This looks pretty standard. Pretty easy to use. So really nice. Looks like you need to be a little careful since it's metal on metal. Okay, let's take a look at the case. So what I purchased was a case to look sort of, sort of like a birdhouse. Uh, and there we go. It is pretty easy. You can see it's a type of like a plastic rubbery type feeling. It's quite flexible. I chose to purchase this in white uh, simply due to the fact that I did not want my cam pan in something that was really black that would be attracting the sunlight and pro uh, providing extra heat for my cam pan. Um, also, I plan on mounting this in an area up against some white trim on a building, so it basically worked out perfectly. So, yep, simple sleeve here. It does have some ventilation ports that only point down. does not look like you're going to have any problem with water getting in. There's a quick little access port here. Um, so yeah, this is going to be really easy to slide onto the cam pan. Let's just go ahead. This is my cam pan. Uh, I just shut everything off. I do have a micro SD card um, mounted in here and I will show you that. I did purchase this off of Amazon and I purchased the SanDisk and it is an extreme. I purchased an extreme. It's I purchased a 64 gigabyte and Wise only claims that these work with 32 gigabyte cards. However, the trick is that you mount them in here um, and you need to reformat it using the cam pan. It will reformat the card to the proper file type that is required to be used in the Wise cam. So it actually worked out quite well, but I did put an extreme because this is going to be outside. It is going to be recording video. I did purchase the extreme and I just opted for a 64 gigabyte. That's going to be plenty of space for me. Um, it'll just continually overwrite. That's, that's more than plenty. So I had no problems with this. Again, I will link this below. I did purchase this again through Amazon. Okay, so here's my cam pan. Like I said, I do have my micro SD card already mounted. Now my cam pan has already been in use, so my Wise app rec recognizes it already. Uh, it's already set up, all that. So we're just gonna stretch this on here. Here we go. Just slides on really easy. A Little bit of a port there for the sensor. I'm gonna go ahead just put that on a surf or a harder surface to make sure it's on there. Seems quite nice. Like I said, this is very flexible. 
So there you go. There is a opening, like we said, if you were to be connecting more than one Wise Cam and you were connecting them in a chain to power them, you can certainly do that. I will keep that closed. Um, I probably will actually tape over that. I'm not going to be daisy chaining any cameras. So there we go. Here is the port for the power uh, and of course the cam operation here. That's not going to be impeded at all by this case. So let's go ahead and take the mount off and make sure this fits on the cam pan. I'm going to go ahead and just try to tighten this real quick. Give me a little bit of room to get it started. I'm really liking this. This is quite nice. I think this is going to be a really nice setup for my cam pans. So get that in there. <clears throat> like I said, uh, I prefer to put as much of the mount in the cam as I can. So I did dial this backwards so that I could continue to try to um, tighten it up. Of course, it's not real easy when you don't have it mounted in here. So, like I said, my plan for this is to mount this on the side of an outside metal building. So um, I chose the white not only to kind of protect my camera from the heat of um, any sort of sunlight, but also to, um, it, it will match the trim on the um, building it's going to go on to. So I feel like this has gotten quite tight. So this is what it's going to look like. I probably will have it set up like this. This being the side of the building and it will allow it to rotate nicely. And then if I need it to point up or down, I can certainly do that using this. So I'm pretty pleased. Um, it seems quite nice, uh, should be quite weather resistant. It is definitely offering some um, air exchange to the back of the camera that should not allow any moisture to come in. You can see if I look at upside down, you can see the holes to get in. You can actually see where it lines up with the ventilation on the cam pan. I will go ahead and slide the cam pan out. So there is the ventilation system for the camera. And again, these are definitely helping to provide some air movement in there. And you can see how flexible this is. So I'm eager to try this. Uh, this will be out and exposed fully into uh, any sort of weather that comes across. It'll be rain, snow. So this will not be under an overhang of a building. Um, so I... I definitely really was concerned about the type of case I purchased. So it definitely slides on real tight. I feel like that looks really good. Again, <laughs> that's interesting. The, there we go. So, yep, you can see we've got some ventilation set up. Um, I do believe I will put some sort of tape over this just to ensure that it doesn't uh, provide any way to leak. Uh, any moisture in. I do not plan on using any sort of daisy chaining. I will not need to access this um, USB port. So that will be probably the only thing I will do to this is tape that shut and uh, I will go ahead and mount it. So thanks guys so much again for tuning in for this. I am curious to know if you have any of the wise cameras. I have um, the pan cam. I have the wise cam version 2 which I have also mounted several outside and done an unboxing of the cases that I purchased to mount them outside. And then I have also recently acquired the wise cam outdoor starter bundle which is the the base unit and one camera for their new out, outdoor wireless battery operated camera system. So I will put links um, for that in, in, uh, up in the upper uh, corner of, the, of this video and I will try to link them down below in the description as well. So uh, as you can see I also own a WISE, um, one of their bands. So this is my WISE band 
This is a smart watch that has a um, heart rate monitor on it and it, it definitely provides some smart notifications. Um, so I'm really enjoying it. It's incredibly affordable. It's less than $30 for, that's just pretty much unheard of for a smart watch band. So fully touch screen. So thank you guys so much again for joining me on this. Like I said, information on this particular, um, case will be down below in the description box. And I thank you all so much for joining me. Let me know what you've got. Let me know if you're interested in this, uh, or what your, um, what your mounting options have been for the pan cam. I shall mention really quick. I am in the Midwest. So we get all sorts of weather. Obviously we get rain, but we do get winter. We get a lot of snow, a lot of extreme cold. So um, yeah, I'm eager to try this. So thanks everybody so much for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed this again, and I will see you guys on my next video. Have a great day. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.